Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Here we are in front of my butt ugly pink survival house. <laughs> this is not a building material I would normally choose. Whoops, let me get back into uh, there we go. But I ran across a stand of eucalyptus trees on the way over to this place and it turned out to be a good building material. These two blocks of salt are not there legitimately. They're there for a an illustration, which I'll show you just in a little bit. But this is my survival place. And here we have my smeltery. Here we have my brand new veggie farm. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Looks like there's some stuff that's ripe here. What do we got here? That's not ripe, that's not ripe, that's not ripe. Okay. Now if you remember back in Season 1, there was a progression of tools that you had to go through in order to be able to make a metal mattock, which you needed in order to till dirt, in order to plant your crops. That is still in effect. Um, so what do you do in the meantime? Because it's going to take you a while to accumulate all the, uh, basically two stacks worth of gravel, sand, and clay to make all the seared bricks that you'll need to get your smeltery going. Well. The first thing that you will want to keep an eye out for is berry bushes, like so. The natural berry bushes. If you get three different kinds of berry bushes, you can combine any three berries and a wooden bowl and get a pretty nutritious berry salad. Also, uh, keep an eye out for bones, bone meal. Bone meal the ground, you will get fruit tree saplings, depending on what biome you're in. Chickens. Another thing to watch out for. Uh, chickens are probably going to be your best bet for livestock, since they do not require wheat to eat. They just need seeds. Of course, naturally, I'm not going to get any seeds. Eh, cotton seeds. Well, whatever. They'll also lay eggs, which you can throw into the pen to make more chickens. Now, of course, uh, whoa, hello. Your vanilla foods are going to restore at best one one uh, drumstick each of hunger. So that is a thing to keep in mind. Sugarcane grows much more slowly than it used to. It used to be one of the fastest growing crops there was, but now uh, th that has apparently been nerfed. Now some good news. Zombie jerky no longer requires a cutting board to make. So if you can get two salt and you can use your flint pick to mine both the agriculture salt and the Pam's Harvest Craft salt. You just put any two salt in, put in your zombie jerky, or your uh, rotten flesh, and utensil-free zombie jerky. I'm just gonna <laughs> chow on that there a little bit. Now, you spawn with a helpful guide called How to Survive. And this will kind of go through your tool mechanics. You cannot make vanilla tools just like in Magic Farm 5 back in the day. You have to make, um, again, the wooden shovel. Get the flint, to, flint or bone pick to get copper. And let's see, iron and th okay, this looks a little off, but that's okay. It's still pretty much the same progression. And one interesting thing has been added. If you make, say, um, let me get some, uh, some wood. Do I have some wood? I don't think I have any wood on my person. That's okay. <coughs> Let's make a flint something or other here. Let's make a flint... Ah, there we go. This is interesting. If you mouse over a pattern, you can hold shift, and it will tell you what materials you can use to make that thing. So you notice you cannot make a wood pickaxe. You can make a stone pickaxe head. And I'm just going to grab me a little... That's ash stone. Or some just stone stone. Can I have stone stone? I've probably got some in here. I got some cobble somewhere. And if not, well... There, guess what? Now I do. <laughs> I 
if you put that on there. If you mouse over the part, it will tell you what can be what that part can be used to make. In the case of the stone pickaxe head, you can't do anything except make casts out of it. If you put a flint there, it will tell you mining level copper. Or let's see, I've got some bronze here, right? No, I don't, but I have copper. Let me just go ahead and turn that into ingots. Oops, can't do that. For that, you have to use the smeltery. And I don't know why I thought I could do that, but whatever. But as you make parts, I'm just going to cheat in a, say, a copper. There we go. I don't even need to cheat it in. I can just mouse over it, and it will tell you mining, mining level copper. That doesn't sound right. I think copper can get tin still. Your flint and bone are on the same level. And let's just see here. You can make a paper pickaxe head, but uh, it doesn't really do you much good. It'll get you stone, and that's about it. But again, the same, it's pretty much the same progression from copper to bronze to iron, and of course you will need a, an all-metal mattock before you can till your ground. About the other, only other food that you're going to be able to get uh, until you can till your earth is apples, of course. The growth craft uh, apple tree is still a thing. The growth craft fish net is not a thing, and something weird happened to my mariculture fish nets here. I'm just going to get rid of those after I updated. I don't know what those are or what they're for, but those are not things that I actually made, so goodbye. And of course you can get your vanilla fishing rod, get your fish. Uh, as soon as you can, you can get bakeware. If you find some wild barley growing, you can still... Let's see, do I have a barley? I don't have a barley. Oh, I have a barley. You cannot make the barley flour anymore like that, unfortunately. You have to craft your barleys together. Whoops, get in there. I need to put a step on there. Craft your barleys into wheat. No, you can craft them into bread. Okay. Well, that works. Bread is a nourishing light meal, and if you have, if you happen to find a bunch of wild barley, that's going to be helpful. But, as has been the case pretty much since the beginning of time with Magic Farm, your first iron that you find, you're going to want to make cookware out of. And more than ever, that is going to be an important thing. If you find a skeleton spawner, you'll want some bones to use for bone meal to fertilize the ground to get uh, fruit trees and such like. And then you'll also want to, if you have enough iron to make a pot, You'll also want to use those to make broth, which you can use to make, or stock, which use, you can use to make all your good soups with. <laughs> ham bone. <laughs> no, apparently the ham bone is not edible. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm, there we go. Stock. And stock is used to make, of course, all of your, all your good soups, but that will be a good early food. And also, so will meat stock if you can get meat. But of course, you're not going to be able to get cows until you can get wheat. And you're not going to get wheat until you can make a metal mattock. It's complicated, but you'll figure it out. Oh, there is one other good early food. If you uh, happen to find squid and slaughter them, they will drop calamari. And I don't see any squid here, so I'm just going to, um, <whistles> squid, squid spawn egg. There we go. I'll just, um, there we go. There's a squid. And come here, squid. There we go. Squid will now drop a much more nutritious form of raw squid. And sometimes they will also drop a cookable squid. 
But you take this raw squid, the funny looking one here, and you craft it with a bowl. If I can find one, there's some bowls there. Put that and that together. That will give you two calamari. And this is a pretty, well, it's not the most nutritious food, but squid don't fight back. <laughs> so, you can uh, probably, if you live near enough water to spawn squids in, that will probably keep you fed. And then, of course, you get this raw calamari that you throw in a, in a furnace and smelt. So, that is a quick look at the Magic Farm 2 early game. I'll go back into my offensively pink house here. All this miscellaneous garbage that I've found. Put my, put my clothes back on. There we go. So, next time, uh, we've got a little surprise. It turns out there is a third contender here. Um, the new New World mod pack. Remember New World mod pack? Remember that, that pack that I played back in the day? My first modded Minecraft playthrough? Oh yeah. It's been updated for 1.6 and it now includes a mod called Food Plus. So next week we may take a little look back, a um, little blast from the past and in the future at the brand new New World mod pack. So until then i got a bone in my hand. <laughs> Oops. Till then, bon appetit. I will see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.